Welcome back to another dreary day at the spa. You know, there was rain. Come here, I want to show you something. The track, so muddy. Some horses finishing up this next race. You can just see the mud flipping up behind them. But you know what? Nothing was going to damper my excitement for the grade one personal ensign. You know, some stakes races are just better than others. And this one featured some of the top fillies in the world all battling head to head. To give you an idea of what I mean, let's go back to the Ogden Fitz handicap June 7th at Belmont Park. Close hatches barely holds off a charging princess of Silmar. See how all of those horses were bunched up together at the end there? Well, four of those top five finishers are going head to head again today. Close hatches entering the personal ensign as the favorite looking to extend her streak to four. But you know what? You can never overlook fan favorite princess of Silmar. She's owned by Schenectady native Ed Stanko and unbeaten in two starts at the spa. Both grade one wins last summer. So with that as a setup, we head to the track. Those two breaking from adjacent gates, close hatches, getting to the lead early, and she does not give it up. This time, though, not even close. She goes on to win her fourth straight graded stakes race for trainer Bill Mott. You know, I felt that she had probably improved a little bit since the since the Phipps race. So, you know, I mean, if, if they look good and you feel they're doing well, then, you, you know, you... With one like her, it's no surprise to see her run a good race or a big race. Oh, by the way, Princess of Silmar finishes in fifth place off the board still. What a way to kick off Travers weekend.